Hey Revelation Revelers, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're enjoying Revelation. And today we conclude with week six and we're on to week seven. So week six was filled with information, the scene in heaven, the marriage supper of the land, Jesus coming riding on his white horse and his armies with him to take care of his enemies the uh, false prophet and the antichrist being thrown into the lake of fire satan eventually gets thrown into the lake of fire we have the millennium and all of that and then that ushers us into chapters 21 and 22 which is the new heaven and the new earth and so i hope that you will continue because honestly this is a time that we can look at it and we can just have such hope and such assurance and when I think of chapters 21 and 22 of Revelation, it just reminds me that God often saves the best to last. He saves the best to last. And that's exactly what we're going to experience, the best that he has to offer his people. So keep up the good work, keep studying, keep, keep uh, participating, keep going forward. If you're behind, try and catch up, watch the videos if you can. And just to remind you, a week from Monday, on the 14th of March, we start our series, um, Staying Strong in Difficult Days. It's not going to be a live video teaching on Monday nights, so it's important that you read your emails because it'll come out in the morning, and there'll be a video attached to the to the topic, and uh, it's going to be an eight-week series, and so I hope that you watch the videos as well as read the posts and then share them with others. And then once that concludes, I think in the summer, I'm contemplating doing another series like that, which would, you know, be on a Monday morning where you would get the videos in your email. But I'm considering doing one the, on the rapture or a series on the rapture on how to get ready for the rapture on heaven and, you know, different things like that, that we're not covering in Revelation. So um, I, I know that that will be such an encouragement to you. And then we're off to Galatians in the fall. It's going so well. Galatians, unlocking the door to freedom. It's going to be such a great, great Bible study. I am learning so much already. And that will once again be on Monday nights. The teachings will be on Monday nights. And um, the books will come out sometime prior to that. And I'll set the Bible study up just the way that we've done it before. So I hope that you will consider joining and inviting your friends as well. Um, so here's the last couple things. The last couple things. Make sure that you post a review on Amazon. I know I keep saying that, but that's really important. Um, and also, um, would you please, 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 please reach out to me? And let me know how things are going. Um, if you struggled through Revelation, if you loved it, if you felt overwhelmed, if it impacted your life or something, just send me a message. Respond to this email and just let me know that you what what God did in your heart through Revelation, or if or if you never didn't make it through it, if you're going to you know go back and catch up or whatever. I just want to hear from you because I want to know, um, you know, because it's it's not the same as do, having a Bible study where I can meet you in person. So um, that's really really important to me. So please reach out to me. And then lastly, if you would consider giving a donation to this ministry. We are solely based on donations. Um, that's how we are funded. But, you know, everything that I do is is free. I don't charge, um, you know, for anything. People can buy the books if they want. Um, we give gifts out, and then it will give us an opportunity to bring truth and, and to just keep moving forward until the Lord calls us home. And the church so needs truth right now. I know that you know that, and we've talked about that. Um, and they so need tr uh, truth right now. And so if you would consider, even just the smallest amount can help us in tremendous ways, in tremendous ways. I don't ask for money very often. Um, I usually, I mean, I never ask for it during the year. Uh, maybe at the end of a Bible study, I'll ask for it a couple times just, just to see if God is ministering to your heart and to see if God has truly used this Bible study 
in in your life to impact you to help grow your faith and and maybe you've changed in some way or you're looking at something differently and so if that is the case um, you know um, I know that I, I often give to ministries that really impact me. On Monday night, I talked to you about a ministry called GotQuestions.org. I've given to them several times. I've, I've donated to them financially because I use them all the, all the time for my research. And, and um, you know, if I have questions or whatever, I mean, they always have an answer and a good answer. And so I've given to them several times. I've given to um, David Jeremiah's ministry because um, I totally respect him and I give, I've given to other ministries just because they have truly impacted my life and they, they have taught me so much. So I just want to ask you if you would be willing to do that and the link is in the email. So have a great weekend and uh, we will be together next week for our final week chapters 21 and 22. Have a blessed day.